today we'll be having a look at this 2009 F-150 5.43 valve. It belongs to a buddy of mine. It's making a ticking noise, you notice. It started to come from the passenger side. And we're going to pull the valve cover today and see what there is to see under there. <laughs> I'll put this down in the fender well so you can get a good listen. Alrighty, let's get started. so we got the valve cover off i was taking a look and i was feeling these lifters or uh rockers whatever they call them really i was poking around at them and to me they all kind of do feel loose compared to i don't know if that's normal for these engines but like on the 3.6 chrysler the jeep engine which is well known for its problem with them things and they eat up the camshaft i mean for those I would consider this these loose, but for this engine, I don't know. Maybe that's just how these are. I don't see anything too scary on the cam. I mean, there's a couple of strange looking wear patterns on the lobes of the cam, but it's not, I'm not seeing the, the machining of the stamped, of the stamped rocker, you know, directly contacting it like you see on the Jeep engines all the time. So I'm not seeing anything painfully obvious, but but either way i mean it has to be one of them one of them has to be making that noise so i was just trying to at least find something obvious to diagnose it for them because personally i don't i'm not going to be fixing this but i just wanted to know what to tell them or what to expect and so far i haven't seen anything that's kind of inconclusive well, all right i think we found the culprit seems to be this one right here which the wear pattern is kind of odd on the edges, although it's not digging into the cam yet. Okay. This one seems way looser than it should be in there. Look at that. Look at all that 
slop in there. That's probably what we're hearing. And it hasn't gotten bad enough to the point, I think, I mean, you may be able to pop a new one in there. We don't have one, so we can't do it today, and we'll make that decision. But, you know, ultimately, I'm thinking that's the one right there. That's the culprit making the noise. So I guess now, because there's nothing I can do about it right now, I'm going to put it back together. <laughs> but at least we have some kind of knowledge of what's going on in here. Okay, so it's back together and running again. Of course, the problem isn't fixed because we didn't do anything. We're just having a look. But it appears to me that one could just replace those rockers on this whole side without actually removing the cam. That may not technically be correct, but the cams have not been dug into by the rockers. It, it looks, they, some of them have a little odd looking patterns, but I don't think that would, well, we'll just have to do some research and see. But it's reasonable to think that one could loosen each of the cap bolts for the cam and let the cam uh, relax and take the load off of all of those rockers and then pop the rockers out one at a time and do that whole side just like that because I personally don't want to mess with the timing chain or the, you know, the phaser, don't want to mess with any of that stuff. So we'll do a little more research on the subject and in the future we might just do a video replacing all the rockers on this side. So thanks for watching and remember to subscribe.